Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden 21 coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 15% off. Hey, GUTBOX here. Welcome to Market Monday. Now, I want to start off with the team of the week. We'll talk about Halloween, that promo coming, um, hopefully here soon. We'll talk about a few other things with coins, of course, like we always do on El Market Monday. So... Cards coming tomorrow. Randall Cunningham. Last year, as you can tell by the El Mudahede, he was a scrambler archetype. So that was his card last year. But this year, I would assume he gets the same. Obviously, Lamar went from scrambler to improviser. So nothing really saying that he's going to be the same as last year. But I would assume he's going to be scrambler archetype again. But I don't know. Good throw power. Good accuracies under pressure on the run. We're getting spoiled with quarterbacks lately. The, the few that came... On Friday and uh, Favre there with those like four came Friday. We get another one today. It's quarterback season, baby. So otherwise looks phenomenal. Uh, but I'm kind of getting addicted to gunslinger. So I don't know. Anyways, next card: Lance London Bridges Briggs. Okay, Lance Briggs. So 86 speed on him with acceleration block shed. He is a coverage linebacker. Um, he'll go good next to Erlacher. We're going to get Erlacher for Halloween, maybe. We'll talk about some things coming. Um, but yeah, I mean, 86 speed. Good on a theme team, I guess. You know, actually legitimately good on a theme team. But he's a linebacker Madden, and I don't really field those very often, except for like Mott Master. So let's talk about Halloween promo first before we go into other things, okay? Last year, most feared. I just went up, looked it up on El Marete. And uh, it was, the thing about Halloween, it's one of my favorite um, times of the year. It's great, football season, candy, what's not to love, um, scaring children, egg in houses, teepeeing. A little different this year, of course, with all the uh, craziness going on in the world. We won't get to, you know, hand out as much candy, but we still got our white vans in operation for that, for Operation Den. But most feared. Last year, like, I'm not going to go through what they had last year with, like, crafting materials. Like, it, it's a little confusing if you didn't play the game last year. And, I mean, luckily it wasn't as bad as the Thanksgiving confusingness around those cards. That was even worse. But, like, they just try to, like, it's sets within sets, right? And it, they keep doing that um, over and over. It's sad to see. But here's the thing. Last year, okay. Everybody's biggest question is, is the market going to crash, right? Is all the prices for cards going to decrease dramatically so as to sell off my team the answer is we don't know right it used to be yes before they brought in alternate currencies and re-rolls it used to always be yes these cards these these overalls 90s would crash because we got new 91 92 93s whatever they are coming out they're like oh we don't want the old cards we want the new cards okay that's cool but the good thing about the training re-rolls is that when we do them they increase the value of old cards, right? Because if you roll, if you if you need training to get new cards, you're like, oh, I'll just re-roll my old cards into new cards. And then I'll just buy other training off the auction house. So it actually ended up raising the price. But we don't know if we are going to get a training re-roll. It could just be the new alternate currency, bats or whatever they do this year, if they do that. Uh, they could re-roll and everything could be coming out of packs. So there could only be a re-roll for bat re-rolls, right? And that would crash the market. Because if we don't need old cards, but we want the new cards, let's sell off the old cards for coins, take those coins, buy the new cards, sell those for the bats to re-roll. So that would crash it. So like currently we don't know. It's much harder these days to decide whether it's going to go up or down based off because EA, like one little set, one little re-roll changes the entire market dynamic. And so like I think obviously coins are king. Should you be stacking training? I would assume there's going to be some sort of training rerolls. We've had a couple already this year. Last year, um, we'll talk about house rules in a second. Last year, there I think there was one too. Um, I think there was one because the training for, for bats, I think it did go up slightly. The market stayed pretty set, steady last year too. We had a part two of it last year also. So I do expect it to come this Friday, right? Two weeks before. That's been traditional. We've had two weeks towards Halloween. Um, in Rage players last year were Nats, so it wasn't really easy to make coins off of them. Uh, but there were other things like I'm hoping for house rules again. These I just I want more house rules. Those are my favorite part of Madden Ultimate Team, especially if you give a decent reward for it. That's the best. So please, 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 and and a Dre Archer. Obviously, Halloween Dre Archer is what everybody wants. Mobile, mobile. I'm getting a nice Corn Elder. So Corn Elder would be kind of cool, but he feels more like you know children of the corn. But it feels more like a Thanksgiving thing to give a, a Corn 
Elder a card. But here's some of the cards Mobile got. Obviously, they're, they're promos. They're Ghastly Garden. It's not like perfect over to console. So don't expect the same thing for console as the, the kind of, you know, content's a little different between the two. Mobile, I don't know. Mobile gets a lot of content, but it's just not a good game anymore. I don't know. They did a lot of things that a lot of people hated it for. So that's what it is. Players and sets. We got Peyton Manning, 93 overall last year. I can look through some of the players we got last year. What else was interesting about last year's promo? Um, skill crafting materials to complete. Oh, my God. That was terrible. Challenges. Yeah, I remember Solos last year were kind of rough, too. Like, look at all this complicatedness and worth the greatest. Worth the Second portion of house, house Rules, cool. Store had some stuff. But the players last year, we got 93s. Do we expect 93s again? Maybe, right? I wouldn't be that ex I wouldn't be that uh, surprised by 92s as a part of the promo. 93 as the master would be would make sense. That would match the Barry Sanders. We're getting about 50 cards at 92 overall right now. So going with 92s makes a lot of sense, and I think that's probably something that they'll end up doing with most fear, just give us 92 overalls uh, versus 93s is the top card. But, like, we just got our first 92s last week, talking about the 50. I think it's pretty safe if you want to invest in those cards to go ahead and grab the uh, the 82s again from the 50 as they kind of, like, uh, down in the middle. They go down a little bit in the middle of the week, uh, and then they go back up for the new set. Now, if you really, really, really want to be... Um, safe you get the gold players that you can turn into the 50 cards so like this one's 17k i mean that's gotta go up when the new cards go into sets right oh, already expired darn it boomer fingers bad internet you know how it goes uh but not a bad idea to stock up before the new guys come out i do think they'll be 82 uh, 92s again with most feared also probably launching on friday legends because you know they don't they probably won't go up in overall two weeks in a row right highly improbable so there you go. That's not bad. Of course, sets sets for these 50 are sometimes actually profitable to do. Remember when cards can like take a look at the sets, right? Because if the power-ups and the cards are going for, you know, 400 k each, then like, oh, I get 800 k The set's going to cost me 700 k I guess it's a 20 k profit. Is that enough for me to do it? I don't know. But sometimes the margins are a little bit more than razor thin and something you should look forward to and uh, do. Team of the week for the gap pack. Um, did I go everything I wanted to go over the Halloween promo? Yeah, basically sell or hold. Try and like, obviously have a lineup, but like I would stack coins, right? I got a lot of training because I, I downgrade a lot of guys just recently out of a binder and sold them off. So I got a lot of training, but having a lot of tra training, I would have mostly coins, but have a decent amount of training if you can um, as, as a kind of like a uh, safeguard, because if there's a training reroll, training could go up um, and then you'll, you'll want it, of course. So. The gap pack method, um, this week it went to like, we talked about this on stream a lot over the weekend, right? And it's it's funny to see like, you know, what I talk about on stream, everybody else ends up talking about like a couple days later between forums and uh, other videos. But like this right here, this one is pretty solid because of how much the team of the week cards went up with the uh, new team standouts coming out. And so you basically get gap packs, you exchange them all the way up to, um, to the... Uh, superstar mvps that three for a high gold then you take those 75 to 70 or whatever they are those those golds and you put them to the set and then getting like an 82 was like 60k for a little bit or like 50k which is insane which was very profitable and i'm, I'm, I'm glad all the people that were able to take care of it take advantage of it and made a lot of coins off that as uh you did well you did well so just more more tips for the den of course you can still do the exchange like i talked about what is it two weeks ago now do the same thing for the 50. Um, now that, now that the sadly, now the exchange, now that it's, uh, you know, so many 11 for an 82, it's less profitable than it's probably similarly, if not slightly less profitable, I'd have to do the math again. You can do the math on your own too. Then just do the team of the week because of how insane those team of the week cards are. So that changes frequently. So definitely take a look at those sets though. Those ones were great. Uh, exchange sets, profitable sets. You can snipe some golds off the market for those sets too. That was very nice. So that's what I want to talk about in the 50. The market, who knows? I would be coin rich. Try not to hold a lot in your binder. Try and have coins. Try and grind coins. Do not spend this week is my opinion. Um, try and, you know, gather resources basically. Um, but uh, that's that's kind of the, pre we're prepping for Halloween. I'm excited. It's getting to mutt season. It's getting to huge time seasons. Oh, of course, sell off your collectible. I already quick sold my Chiefs collectible. 
uh, because they lost. But sell off if you have any of those collectibles that you did from those sets uh, that we talked about. How many? How long? Was that already a month ago? Wow, that's that's kind of flying by. Come on. These team collectible things um, sell off the teams that lose, of course, and uh, keep the teams that win, right? So they keep going up and up and up. So I sold off my Chiefs. Um, and uh, take a look at what you got, guys. That's what I want to talk about, right? Yeah, enrage period was weird last year. I don't like the enrage. I hope they get rid of that. I hope they do like if they do enrage, doing like a house rules because I don't know. It was fun four years ago, but if you do it every year, it gets kind of boring, in my opinion. So, and they were nat, so that was definitely way worse. But that's it for the video. That's it for the market Monday. I hope this helped. Uh, there's all the old tips that we went through, obviously playbooks and rerolls and stuff like that. There's tons of other tips, but that's kind of uh, it for the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we're waiting, right? We're waiting. We're in a waiting period. But hopefully we get ourselves a nice Chase Clay pool tomorrow for Team of the Week Master.